begin to anticipate changes in your regular schedule, it's time for you to change your expectations for your pet schedule. What we want to do is start working on independence. Once you've watched our video on crate training, and I'm sure you're going to have lots of success, it's time you build on that. Move the crate to a different area of your home so you can continue to do your work and your pet can hear you in the distance, but understand that this is a place to stay on their own and enjoy a peaceful, quiet environment. Right, Winston? We want to do all of our training in stages, building up and building on our successes. After your pet's been comfortable being in a room by itself for a little while, it's fine for you to go in and visit, let them see you and check in, then it's an opportunity for you to leave the house for a little while. There's nothing wrong with going out on a walk without your dog, is there? Might seem strange, but it's a great way for you to get outside for a short while, take a walk around the block, maybe meet some neighbors you haven't seen in a long time, and build up your pet's independence. Let's go take a walk right now. Here we are, building on our successes. Winston's had a little comfortable time alone. I got some exercise. One of the important things about coming home with dogs in the crate, don't make a big deal. It's really good for you to wait until they're calm and relaxed after they hear you to open up the door and open the back of the door. Hey, Winston. Another wonderful suggestion, when you're leaving your home, don't make a big deal of it. Just put them in the crate, leave their favorite tree, walk out the door. You can shed the tears once the door's closed. They're gonna be all right, I promise you. Remember, everything we're doing is in small steps, well ahead of time the big day when we've got to return back to work. Change can be frightening for both you and your dog, and with change can come a change in behavior. You may notice that with your pet. Be sure to tune into our other videos. We're going to be covering prey training, talking about anxiety, and other tools to help you get ready for the big day and make it this wonderful experience for you and your furry friend. Right, Winston?